at tonight a major change coming for a local school that's been in the news frequently over the past several months. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan joins us now live from the control room with the details. Kelly. Shannon, after serving 12 years as head of School of St. George's, Eric Peterson announced today he will not be looking to extend his contract after June of next year. Citing a Ulysses poem, head of school Eric Peterson says for the past several years, he's wrestled with a similar issue, staying home where it's comfortable or chasing after an unknown, exciting future. Peterson says after much reflection and consideration, the remaining year of his contract as head of school will be his last. Peterson saw the expansion of the Hill Library, numerous dorm renovations, and the creation of an academic center that enhances the way students learn math, science, and technology. But most recently under his reign, a lengthy state police investigation into several sexual abuse allegations of former staff and students. Just last week, state police announced no charges will be filed due to the statute of limitations. Though Peterson does not say the investigation influenced his decision to step down, in his resignation letter he said, quote, even though recent months have been challenging ones for St. George's, I'm confident that the next head of school will arrive at an important juncture in our history and will be well positioned to carry the school forward in continued positive ways. Board of Trustees Chair Leslie Heaney announced the school retained executive search firm Spencer Stewart to conduct a nationwide search for a new head of school to ensure a smooth transition of leadership. Heaney saying, quote, throughout this transition, the school's commitment to addressing past instances of sexual abuse and to supporting our survivor community will remain steadfast, as will our efforts to advance educational innovation, support our faculty, and challenge our students. And tonight we reached out to the attorney representing the survivors of the St. George's sexual abuse allegations. And he says that the survivors are looking for more than symbolic change at St. George's. And they won't stop their efforts just because there's a new headmaster. Reporting live in the control room, I'm Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.